Hello everyone. I want to show you all the different things I got on Etsy recently in the last month. This is from Tilly's Vintage Box. And again, I kind of waited until I could do this with you guys. I really like the fact that she did that. Don't know why, but I do. But it has cigarette cards, different types of papers, and everything. It was a collage kit that I had bought. I'm not going to open it all because otherwise pieces are going to be everywhere. Then I have my vintage polka dot shop buy that I bought. And this is the 100 cards, vintage cards, some trim, some wrinkled seam, seam binding. I bought these. They're catalog cards for the library back in the day. This is my thank you, which I love little thank yous because they normally come with some random stuff that you wouldn't expect like the tiny tag I'm gonna set this aside because I know that much but we got some more lay or eyelash trim some more seam binding some coffee dyed items, some small, it, like, card-like pieces. And extra Disney stuff, just because I bought the, I'm sure it's because I bought the Disney ephemera kit. Or, yeah, I think it was called Disney ephemera kit. And I know she is switching to her own website, I think. Again, this has many small pieces in it. I'm probably not going to open it all up, but I wanted to show you that she had that much ephemera towards Disney. Now, this is Mixed Media Minnesota's kit. I'm going to just dump it out in the box here so we can see everything without making too big of a mess. So it says romantic promises. And I'll just show you the back. I think it's much easier for you to see the different pieces that are on it. Maybe take it this way. So we got that. We have rice paper again. Or decoupage paper in Stamperia. We have little birdie flowers that are very clean. We have watercolor tags. Cold pressed paper tags. 100% cotton. We have this lovely little, it says pearl Lucent 21 and it's different watercolors. Doesn't look like it comes with a brush though. We got a chipboard from Stamperia. We've got die cuts that go with the Garden of Promises. These are just the die cuts that go with it. We have or there's also lemon chiffon liquid pearls. So, I mean, again, I think I got more than enough supplies. I think, honestly, going in between doing this 
mixed media Minnesota definitely gives me more supplies to just have a fiddle with and this helps with future you know journals and stuff and I also find that buying from vintage polka dot shop obviously well stocks me with different pieces that would be fun to use too I love playing cards honestly I think I make it a goal to get more and more playing cards just because the playing cards do come in handy for different activities. I think the last time I bought playing cards from her I only got the 50 set and I regretted it because I went through the 50 pieces easily. So this just gives me more playing cards to fiddle with. And I wanted to try a new shop for me. And I think I've never had actually cigarette cards before. So that's amazing. And a bunch of these other cards. Again, I, it's hard to get some of these things, I think, around where I'm at in the United States. It's again it's just one of them things I have a difficult time getting I really love this idea of putting a button on top of it oh it's not glued on it looked like it was glued on but I guess it's just to block the hole so I hope you enjoyed this video have a great day or night bye